Hey guys, welcome to the video. Good to see you again. My name is Jean, spelled like Jean. And life has changed again. A couple years ago, I was the worship leader at Rise City Church. Due to a couple circumstances, mainly all because of me, um, I was no longer the worship leader at Rise City Church, but I kept on attending. And that was when I kind of got the job at Ark Smart here, and I was working there for a little bit, um, but just really did not like that desk job life. So I left and pursued freelance, which you guys know about. That's what I've been doing this whole time with YouTube and the podcast and all that stuff. But during that time, like I said, I just kept on Work, I kept on doing stuff at Rise. I got to the point where I was doing the video for Rise City Church, which I love doing and it's super fun. But I, in that, I realized I like being a part of a team. I like being with people. I like collaborating with people. I like working on ideas that are bigger than my own. I like having a vision and a mission and a reason to do things bigger than myself. I feel like working for yourself in the sense of doing everything to increase you and your possessions and wealth and whatever is very empty. It's very hollow compared to this like vision, this mission that you hop on board with and have a team of people working toward a specific goal. Long way to say I'm working back at Rise, no longer as freelance, but as an employee, I am the multimedia director, still doing video, still doing graphic design, still doing some, I'm now helping out with some of our youth worship stuff, but it is a part-time job. I'm still going to be doing YouTube and the podcast, and I'm going to be working at Rise. Not much changes, it's just been a busy couple weeks for me, which is why I haven't posted, so I apologize, but I'm still here. I'm still in this. And I'm still working out at CrossFit. And the workouts are still rough. Today's workout. Uh, you just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. The workout is on a 20 minute clock. We get to do 100 bar facing burpees. And then after you finish, you have the rest of the time to establish a two rep max power clean touch and go. So you gotta keep it going. You can't drop it. You can't let go. A hundred bar facing burpees. What? What? That is 100 too many. How do you feel about uh, today's workout? Well, first things first, we're here in the afternoon. Kind of like a throwback. We used to be afternoon peeps. And today's workout, I am not looking forward to a hundred bar facing burpees, but I love cleans now, and so I'm so excited for the second portion to find a clean touch and go. Do you have a strategy for doing the 100 bar facing burpees? I'm gonna try not to rest. I'm just gonna keep moving, because <laughs> I love to rest. So we are working out in the afternoon today, and it's just so weird because I've been in CrossFit for a couple years now, and I've always been an afternoon worker outer. But I can't imagine doing this every day anymore. Mornings all the way. I don't know what happened or when it happened, but sometime last week or two weeks ago, this wrist like just hurts anytime I put pressure on it, mainly like this way, that way. So today for burpees, I'm wearing wrist supports. Typically, this would not be a thing I wear wrist supports for, but it's like that pressure pushing off, like, I don't know. So I normally try to go organic. I normally try to go no preservatives, no additives to my workouts. Like, the belt, least amount as possible. Knee sleeves, least amount as possible. Wrist supports, least amount as possible. But today, for body weight burpees, I need it. What I don't miss about working out in the afternoon, it's hot, I'm sweating already. What I do miss is it's hot and you're like loose already.
That was a lot better than I thought it was. The burpees sucked. I did it in like eight and a half minutes. I wanted under 10, so I'm happy with that. Um, but then 265 for two, touch and go. Yeah, that was cool. Well, I thought I was killing it during the burpees and then everyone was done and I still had like 40 more to go. <laughs> so then the power clean, I got 135 touch and go, which I'm pretty happy with. So I think my one rep is 145. I think I'm done literally one time. So I was happy with that. She was like, um, early, oh, oh my goodness. Why didn't you let me know my hair was terrible? She said before the workout, you're like, be sure to film me doing power oh, cleans because I like power cleans now. And he filmed me when I got, did 140, so I cleaned it and then I failed the second one and I'm like, I just said I was gonna <laughs> And I like slowly turned the camera away. And I was like, good girl. <laughs> you invader, huh? Me, my friend. <laughs> I'm really happy. This is really bright. There we go. I'm really happy because I was worried about my wrist, but it felt fine. It feels great right now. Like nothing ever even happened. Maybe I just needed to use it more. Maybe it was just like, why aren't you using me, man? It's like, why didn't you use me for 100 pull-ups and 200 push-ups? That was a little too soon, okay? I had food poisoning on Murph Day. That's that for today. Again, I'm really pleased with the way the burpees went. They weren't, like I was dreading this workout and it wasn't that bad at all. Um, but, now for the best part of the day, the, my favorite part, your favorite part, and Sam's favorite part. He's making me go to Chipotle. I'm not making you go to Chipotle, <laughs> we're going to Chipotle, it's a lucky experience for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See you at Chipotle? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> if you make me. <laughs> Follow my